Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Tim Headshot. Today, I'm going to be bringing you episode two of Challenge Accepted. And today's challenge got the better of me. That is for sure. And the Scorpion Jewel World is today's challenge. And honestly, I really did not have a good game with the Scorpion Jewel World at all. I think it was a tough challenge because the maps in this game really don't accommodate for this weapon. There is no real love for any Jewel World weapons in this game. And particularly there's no real game mode that you can play that will help you out either I tried team deathmatch and then I went on to free for all and and hell I even I re resorted to capture the flag in the end which I would probably never upload on YouTube because of the respawn times but hey this is what you're getting and I did have a lot of trouble and I th felt as though it was simply because the scorpion it just can't compete with an assault rifle. You know, the, the majority of times that you are in a gun-on-gun -gun situation, it is going to be actually at a bit of a longer range. And anything in the shorter range, you have a chance to kill. But honestly, it's not its not a gun that you can just pick up easily and just go fucking dirty to nil easily like that. It's just its just a frustrating weapon to use. And honestly, it, it made me rage quit. Now, halfway through a game... Um, I was trying to, to finish off the challenge and halfway through the game I just went stuff it and <laughs> signed out because I really just hate using the Scorpion Jewel. I hate jewel weapons in general. It just it feels a bit cheap to me. It just kind of doesn't really do it for me. But anyways, today's challenge, Scorpion Jewel World with Ghost, Hardened and Ninja. And these perks really didn't help me out. You could argue that Ghost, oh yeah, you can easily camp with that, you know, you, you're going to be unseeable, but I guess on Capture the Flag, everyone kind of knows where you are anyway, that major you're either going to be at their flag or at your own flag, and there really is no in the middle to capture the flag, you're either at your own base or at their base, and if you are in the middle, you're not going to last much longer there, and if you are in the middle, you're heading towards your own spawn, you're heading back or you're heading forward, so... There is no rule in the middle to capture the flag, so Ghost really doesn't help out, and along with Ninja, um, how many people honestly, you know, sound whore? There's not a lot, so having the silent footsteps is, I guess, is not real much of an advantage anyway, and Hardened, I guess it could help. <laughs> uh, also had Tactical Insertion, Decoys, and Tomahawk, well, I love the Tomahawk, I've been really getting a lot better with the tomahawk and I had most of my games tonight with the scorpion the majority of my kills are actually with the tomahawk and I found myself I had to use the tomahawk to get the longer range kills because the scorpion couldn't do it and I relied on the tomahawk to actually hit those longer range kills and you see here I'm camping yes come on come on I missed it and I get and I get beasted you know you just don't have any luck in this game a lot of people run run with twos and I'm a person who just likes to go by themselves. I, I personally I hate teammates. They get in my way. They they just get in my way when I wanna I wanna go somewhere and there's always a teammate, you know, taking my kills or just being annoying, getting in my way. I'd rather just go, Alright, let's do my own thing. Let's get away from them and just do what I wanna do. And I found well look I found up here, tactical insertion up here was really good. It kept me kind of... I wanted to actually stay in the middle of the map. I, I wasn't really particularly looking to get um, any captures because that wasn't part of the uh, the challenge. The challenge was to get the kills and tr and I was just basically going on the D most of the time. So I was kind of hanging around the middle to, and to my base kind of area. And I found u using that spot with the tactical insertion you know, really gave me that kind of advantage. But in the end, it, it kind of really didn't matter anyway because I got beasted. You know, the, the Scorpion just cannot compete with an SMG of an a, of an MP5K or an AK-74 And how bad is the AK-74 you gotten? I used it the other day. Zero recoil. Come on. And that leads me to our next point. Why do games... Why does Call of Duty get worse and worse over time? You know, wouldn't you think games would actually get better over time? You know, because developers would be patching it up, fixing all the problems, but... It seems that every Call of Duty game that I've ever played has just gotten worse and worse. 
You look at Modern Warfare 2, you look at World at War, COD 4 with all the hacks. Oh well. And the Black Ops, it's just Call of Duty Lag Ops or Ghost Ops. Take your pick. And I guess we'll get a couple good one or two months, maybe three months out of Modern Warfare 3 before it, it is fucked as well. So that's a shame. That's a big shame about Call of Duty. I don't know how people can actually keep playing this game all the time. I, I play this game probably once or twice a week. And that's enough for me to get the uh, the rage going through me. You know, I just get angry at this game now, and it's not just not fun for me. So I might be done with this game. I might finish up pretty soon on Black Ops. I guess it's not long to go till Modern Warfare 3. I would like to say I'd burn the game, or you know, snap it in half or something. But I'd rather just trade it in and get you know 15 bucks store credit rather than you know waste waste that opportunity to, you know, get something back, so, yeah, it's just me, and, yeah, I guess that's it, guys, um, as always, if you do have a challenge you would like to give to me, it may not be done on Black Ops, so, we will continue this series on to Modern Warfare 3, once we figure out, you know, what's the go of all the, the attachments, the perks, the guns, you know, what's good and what's bad, once we figure that out, you know, we'll start, we'll start this challenge back up again, so don't feel free to, to post a video response of yourself doing a scorpion, just following all the perks and uh, attachments and equipment in this in this match, and just feel free to post a, post a video response of yourself doing it. I'd love to see it, and uh, post a comment down below of what class you would like to see. A full class, please. You know, tell me. I want to know everything. I just don't want it half half done. I want to know every single detail of the class, please. And uh, Thumbs up the video and subscribe for more videos from me in the near future. Thanks guys for watching and I uh, hope you all have a great day.